Charlie Wilson show, you are going to have a good time because he is all over the place. That was Charlie Wilson with A Good Time. This is Diva Gordon with The Diva Show on SedoraRadio.com. Coming back, talking about investing in yourself, talking about commitment, and then we're going to talk about women, women of color in the industry and some of the challenges that we have. And we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about how to, you know, combat against you know, some of the challenge that, challenges that we're up against. You won't be surprised of some of the things that I say and how I handle it. Um, I, I recently had a whole situation. So I'm just going to share some things with you. But we're going to, um, I talked about commitment earlier. And I'm sorry, we talked about investing and investing in yourself earlier. And in, investing to me goes along with commitment. So we also talking about commitment and committing to yourself you know um we're going to talk about that as well i also want to give you just a shout out a little reminder about uh diva entertainment llc's upcoming production it's going to be may 4th it's called witness um witness is about a a teen that a teen young male um that abruptly had to change his surroundings And while he adapted and learned certain things in his surroundings that made him make a life-altering decision. And uh, you're going to have to come out to the stage production to see what decision he made, to see what he did. But I'm just going to tell you, his family, the Jenkins family, they are interesting characters in themselves. Everybody got something going on. But in order for you to find out what's going on, you're going to have to come out to the stage production. You know, the stage production is going to be Saturday, May 4th. It's two shows. One is at 4 p.m. The other one is at 7 p.m. It's going to be at Stage Crafters in Chestnut Hill. And you can go on eventbrite.com to purchase a ticket so you can see any one of our cast members. And they have tickets as well. So hopefully you'll be able to make it out to the show. Um, This production is real. Um, It's something that you all deal with every day. You all. All of us. Not you all. I'm talking to you like you're just an audience. But... I'm talking about everybody, including myself. We deal with it every day. Um, The gun violence in the streets, putting our our loved ones on T-shirts, you know, when when we should be uh, looking at their names on trophies and, you know, diplomas and and things of that nature. So Witness is going to give you an insight on some things that I think everybody should take a second look and look in the mirror, as Michael Jackson used to say, you know, look at the man in the mirror. You know, we, we, we blame our corner boys for being on the corners, but how did they get there? They didn't just wake up, you know, being born and say, okay, I'm going to be a corner boy. They were groomed somehow. They learned the behavior from somewhere where they get it from. So just saying all of that to say witness is going to give you some information about that. So hopefully you take the time to come out and check out witness that is May 4th. The other thing we have coming for you, DU is a part of intertwine the series. Listen, let me tell y'all a little something about Intertwine. Intertwine is about this vivacious young lady who has a very interesting life. As many of us young uh, women (laughs) do, we are multitaskers. And, uh, you know, Shelly is a very interesting character. And I'm just going to say that she's doing her, her doggone thing and trying to keep everything afloat. But Intertwine is going to show you how so many different things go on while she's trying to maintain and and keep all of her children in order and still maintain a job and still have a private life of her own. And listen, I'm just saying to you, you're going to have to stay tuned because Intertwine is going to tantalize your mind and give you that feed that you need. All right. So stay tuned. Stay up on it, all right? I'm going to keep you posted as we go along. We've had some auditions. We brought some people on, some interesting people onto our cast. That's going to give it the natural flavor that it needs. And, you know, we're just going to let it bleed and give you what you need, okay? All right, so we're going to jump back into, and we're going to talk about commitment. For me, I say that commitment goes hand in hand with investment. When you invest in yourself, you're making a commitment. You need to be making a commitment anyway. You need to make a commitment when you decide that you want to take on your dreams and your goals and make them become a reality. And what that commitment means is sometimes 
you have to say no. Not just to other people. People say, oh, I ain't come to that party because I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to do that. Oh, I wasn't able to come out because of this, because of that. No, 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 no. Having a commitment goes past telling other people no. Ah, yeah, let's touch on something. Yeah, having a commitment and committing to yourself means you have to be able to tell yourself no. Say you're getting off work. Driving home, stuck in traffic. You already know you're hungry. You're going to want something to eat. You need to get some sleep. You need to get some rest. Got to get ready for the next day. So in your mind, you're like, eh, let me pop over here at Mickey D's and get me some grub or... Let me slide over here real quick and grab me a platter for for I go in the crib. That way I can just eat and I'm I'm cool. Let's think about it. Think about it. The money that you're spending in that establishment can be going towards your investment, thus funding your commitment. That commitment is to yourself. Be able to tell yourself no. Um, and, and, and I'm going to give you another example. This past weekend, listen, I was going through it. Doing what I do, my phone is monumental. My phone is like a mini computer for me. I do emails from my phone. I send documents from my phone. I sign documents from my phone. Not only just phone calls and text messages, I market and promote from my phone. So this weekend, I was not getting any of my text messages, nor was I getting any phone calls. Yeah, I felt neglected. I was feeling like that little red-headed stepchild, like, no love. Like, ain't nobody check up on the D? Like, what's going on? Ain't nobody even reach out because I do get a lot of phone calls and a lot of text messages and stuff about business. But I'm just saying, like, my kids ain't even calling, check on me and nothing like that. But... I'm going to bring it back. What I'm talking about is commitment. So I'm going to tell you how this ties in. As they say, make it a long story short. So lo and behold, I called my phone carrier. We went through a lot of troubleshooting and all of the troubleshooting tactics that they sent me through, it didn't work. So in my mind, I'm like, wow, I really need to get another phone, but I'm stubborn. You know, I'm getting older. I'm going to be 50 in a couple of weeks. You know, praise God. And, uh, of course, you already know what was going through my mind. Okay, the troubleshooting is not going to work. So what am I going to have to do? I'm going to have to go and get another phone. These phones out here cost more than my mortgage payment. Okay, I'm just letting you know. Um, jumping out there and, and buying a $1,000 phone is not a part of my... Well, it is a part of my investment, and I'll get back to that. Not necessarily a part of my investment right now, my commitment, you know. So, I, of course, after not getting any te text messages or phone calls, and I, I could get on social media, but text messages and phone calls, it just wasn't happening. So, I goes into the store. I'm not going to tell you to carry or whatever. I goes into the store. Let the young lady know what was going on. Let her know I went through tech support. Tech support it was like, just let them know that you may need a new SIM card. So I'm like, all right, so I'm going to have to factor in the cost of the SIM card. And let me just help you to understand, when it comes to Diva, I count every minute and every penny. Why? Because every minute and every penny means something is subtracted away from my investment. You know, I may need to get a DVD burned, you know, a special DVD burned for a film festival or for a project or something that I'm doing. And that dollar fifty can mean a lot. That dollar fifty that I'm taking to get that DVD burned. You know what I'm saying? And I'm sitting here with this brand new phone. Hmm. But this phone, like, is it making me the money right now? So, I mean, these are the kind of decisions that I think about. So, anyway, I'm in a store and I'm, I'm trying to wrap this story up. But it, it plays into what I was talking about as far as commitment is concerned. This phone... That I wanted so bad was $999. And some of you say, well, don't worry about it. All you have to do is pay for it over time. You know, each month they just add it on to your bill. Okay. Just what I just said. 
So it adds on to the bill, the current bill that I already have, thus taking away from the money that I'm using to invest in my projects, invest in me, which is going to interfere with part of my commitment. So I goes over to the counter and I say to the lady, I said, listen, I talked to tech support. They told me it may be the SIM card. I don't know, but I do know I need a functioning phone. I got a lot going on. I know I'm missing a lot, but people were inboxing me instead of texting me and calling me when I let them know, listen, I don't know if you tried to reach out, but you know, this is what's going on anyway. So she said to me, she was like, well, I think you just need a SIM card. Let's get the SIM card and see. So she popped out the SIM card and put a new SIM card in there. She was like, oh, you good, well, and fine. Of course, now I'm standing like, hmm, could have went and, and, and went ahead and got, got that, that, that S10, though. You know, I, I was looking at it while I was waiting to be helped. And I'm like, oh, wow, it looks faster. The pictures are clearer and all of this and all of that. But meanwhile, the phone that I have has been sufficing and doing what I needed to do the entire time. So at that moment, I said to her, I said, OK, well, how much is the SIM card that you just put in? She said, oh, that's free. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> let's 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 say that. I said, how much was it? She said, it's free. So I'm still standing in the store, people, and a decision had to be made. Am I just going to be happy with just having this SIM card placed in his phone or am I going to go into debt for this S10, even though my phone is working now? That's where you have to recognize commitment, discipline. But commitment and recognizing at that point, I had to tell myself no. So a lot of people say, you know, think when you tell them to invest in yourselves and commit to yourselves and commit to your goals and your dreams that it's about telling everybody else no. It's not always about telling everybody else no. It's about telling yourself no. Not right now. Maybe later, but not right now. Why? Because right now you have certain things that you have on the plate that you're trying to do. And that is more important than making this move right now. Now, don't get me wrong. Eventually, I am going to move in that direction. But while I have a phone that is fully functioning and, be, and, and capable of doing what I need to do right now in this moment, I'm going to digress from that debt. And that, and that commitment, you understand what I'm saying? So when I say investing in yourself is about making smart decisions, it's about, you know, committing to yourself. And I had to make a commitment to myself and say, I have invested in certain things that I have to focus on. And that did not involve, if it was not necessary, it did not involve getting a new phone with new debt and a new commitment because with the current phone I have, I'm, I don't have a commitment with, with any carrier. You understand what I'm saying? So taking on that new phone would have meant I would have been committing to a new character, carrier. I would have been committing to a new balance bill. It would have been a lot coming along with the convenience of having a new phone. So I'm saying these things and I'm, I broke down that story just only to explain to you when it comes down, down to investing in yourself and committing to yourself, it means a lot more than telling other people where you can't be and what you can't do for them. It also comes down to what you need to do for yourself and some of the sacrifices that you have to make for yourself. You know, oh, I'm going to treat myself. I work hard. Well, treating yourself means that you have respect for your own goals and aspirations. And anything that you do that deters from that is subtracting that from your life. Recognize that, you know, it's not just and, and, and people want to, uh, how do I say, boast about the fact, oh, I told him I couldn't do that, girl, because I'm. I'm focused on, you know, my dreams. I'm, I'm focused on making this come true. But then. You know, you you sitting at a show that is like $75 a ticket, but you're trying to put together a show of your own. But you just paid $75 to watch somebody else's dream. 
Not saying don't support people. But at the same time, understand that what you put in is what you get out. You understand what I'm saying? Make a commitment to yourself. And other people will want to commit with you. You know, um, when I started DEU, it was years ago. Years ago. And I'm just saying, you know, um, I was not a part of the Philly circuit. Period. And I'm just saying, I was not a part of the Philly circuit. Not many people knew me in Philadelphia. Um, I started out in Philadelphia. And, of course, I tell everybody how, you know, I was under... Uh, Mel Williams for many years, still under Mel Williams. You know, I don't give a darn how old I get. I'm still learning from Mel Williams, and I learn from the actors that are part of DEU. I learn from people that I meet every day. Um, but just saying that um, I learned years and years ago that you have to build. Um, you have to build relationships. And when I first started, you know, uh, a lot of people didn't know me that well. You know, they did, They never worked with me before. And I have built so many relationships along the way with so many different actors um, in the tri-state. And some have went on to ATL. Some have gone on to L.A. to do some great things. Um, and I'm saying that to say that you have to start somewhere. You know, you have to learn to, to build these relationships to build um, trust with people that they want to invest in you, that they will make a commitment to you. I'm very thankful. And I know some people was looking at my page and was like, oh my God, Diva's like shouting this person out and shouting that person out. And oh my gosh, there's any other, but let me tell you something. There has been so many people that have been a part of DEU that has helped me along the way that I have to be thankful, you know, um, respectfully so. You know, there are people that have done lighting and sound uh, for my stage productions, people that have been stage managers for my productions, and people that have come along to lend their, their acting talent. Um, you know, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just shouting some things out. And people that have been with me for years, people that have just come on board that are selfless and lend themselves. And I'm appreciative because they don't have to do it. People get into this industry with an assumption that because they've done some things and they have a name that people owe them something. No one in this life owes you anything. If anything, you owe yourself everything. Please understand, I'm going to say it again. No one in this world owes you anything, but you owe yourself everything. And if you honestly think that people owe